everyone from the governor to Milwaukee's state lawmakers to Milwaukee's mayor to the school board is talking about the need to reform Milwaukee public schools. The school's performance could cost the state up to a quarter of a billion dollars in federal education grants. Here's what the district is dealing with. First of all, the district relies heavily on state aid. It went up $203.5 million over the last 10 years. In fact, the state pays for more than half of the district's spending. In all, MPS has over 82,000 students and almost 11,000 staff. That includes 278 principals and vice principals, over 5,700 teachers, over 1,100 educational assistants, 505 psychologists, social workers, therapists, and nurses, and 542 clerical workers and secretaries. The district consists of 198 schools. That's 121 elementary schools, 12 middle schools, 49 high schools, and 16 schools with combined grades. That works out to a budget of more than $1.2 billion. That comes out to $13,818 per child. After spending all that money, MPS has an 87.9% attendance rate, 68% graduation rate, and a 30.3% suspension rate. And the results speak for themselves. Out of fourth grade students, about 60% were proficient or advanced in both reading and math. By eighth grade, reading scores have gone up just slightly but math scores have dropped over 10%. Just two years later in 10th grade, those scores plummet. 41% of students are proficient or advanced in reading and only 28% in math. As far as No Child Left Behind goes, the district has been identified for improvement four years in a row. 51 MPS schools have been identified for improvement. That affects 28,000 students, more than a third of the total MPS population. The test scores also reveal a wide racial achievement gap in southeastern Wisconsin. In fourth grade, the average difference in test scores among white students and African American students is 33 points. By eighth grade, that difference goes up to 40 points. Finally, in addition to performance, the district's on a collision course with financial disaster. The district faces a $2.2 billion unfunded liability for health care expenses for its retirees. That puts the future of the entire district in jeopardy. Wisconsin public officials just can't take any more of this, especially when it could cost the state federal education money. So they're racing to pass some kind of reform, which could mean either the mayor taking complete control of the district or just getting much more say in how it's run. State lawmakers could have a decision made within the next month. For the MacGyver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.